Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night from wherever you're watching from. This is Anocho in China, and now I'm in Nyabohanze. I am in I am Marwa's villa, and I'm here. Allow me to call you to call you the right hand man because I see <laughs> he consults right you man. in almost entirely everything. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you you noticed that? Yeah, I've noticed on that on camera. Yeah, on camera. Uh, oh. Even while while in China, I saw. And you see, he likes to consult the elderly. Yeah. Also, sometimes the engineer, he, he likes to uh, consult him when yeah. uh, things go south and he mm. wants to make them fair and square. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's good because you are like our father. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. How old are you right now? Right now? Yeah. I'm 45. 45. Yeah. yeah. Father, elder brother, yeah. if I can say. But father, because you fit that uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so introduce yourself and then we begin. So guys, uh, my name is Mr. Ebole. Mm -hmm. um, thank you very much for hosting me on your channel and an auto in, in China. Yeah. So guys, uh, my channel name is In Concept Interior Studio. Mm -hmm. So guys, if you are from In Concept Interior Studio, please uh, check out Mr. Anoto. Mm -hmm. Uh, he has some interesting vlogs from China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so that's my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. I'm here at uh, Marwa. Um, doing interior design for him and consultation. Uh -huh. So that's what we are doing here at um, Villa Medellin. Villa Medellin. Yeah. Villa Me Medellin is a Spanish word actually. Yeah, Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. Medellin. Medellin, yeah. Do you know the inspiration be behind Villa Medellin? No, no, no. Or maybe yeah, he was in, in Colombia. Maybe he got his inspiration. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Is Med Medellin a capital city in, in Colombia? Maybe. I, I don't know, but I'll check it out. Mm, we need to find out we about need to that. Find out. Yeah. yeah. So tell me, how has it been working with uh, Mario? Actually, it has been... Uh, it's a, it's a, I could say it's a privilege. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a privilege because uh, Mario is a... Uh, Mario is a big name. Yeah. yeah and uh, it's a name that is sought after all over the world. Mm -hmm. So for me to be here at Amara, I could say it's a privilege and uh, it's, a, it's a God's grace that I'm here because uh, I really, I've been watching Mara for quite some time, close to two years now and uh, I've been watching him build this villa and I really got interested in the, the villa itself. Uh -huh. When you see it on camera, uh -huh. It, it is something else, yeah. and then the thought of the villa being in the village, uh -huh. <laughs> that's a different story. Yeah, mag so mag I'm like, ah, yeah. the villa in a village, uh -huh. I really want to see how it goes. So yeah. I started following the journey, uh -huh. and uh, initially when I started following journey, I was just getting entertainment, uh -huh. and uh, just following to see how it comes up, because that is my line of duty, uh -huh. and uh, I really enjoyed watching. Uh -huh. So uh, when they started doing the final touch-up, the finishes, uh -huh. then uh, I started noticing some some things that were not being done professionally. Uh -huh. I could notice that on camera. Uh -huh. So uh, I thought maybe if I go to Nyabohanse, uh -huh. I could help uh -huh. uh, Marwa uh -huh. just to consult for him uh -huh. uh, and help him come up with a good finish. Yeah, yeah. But because he's a very difficult guy to catch, eh? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I really tried for <laughs> close to one and a half years. Yeah, yeah, trying just to reach him. I could DM. Yeah, he received so many messages. Yeah, yeah. so maybe he did see. So I tried so much. Mm -hmm. uh, finally, uh, when when Paris came on board as a PA, yeah. I was able to reach Paris uh -huh. and I secured an appointment yeah, with, uh, with yeah, Maro. Yeah. So I, that's I, how I came here. Uh, in, Actually, um, you know, the first time I watched you, is your video being introduced here. And uh, from that day, I just like uh, something about you. Because uh, I'm a fan of, uh, of especially interior design and finishing. Mm -hmm. Because most of the time, people plan about the house and everything. Yeah. But the finishings and fittings and the interior design. Yeah, that's, yeah, that, that, especially when, uh, the, okay, I've been in the field for so many years, mm -hmm. and what I've realized is, uh, you, you come up with a budget, mm -hmm. you say I want to build a house, maybe it will cost me 50 million, maybe it will cost me 20 million, it will cost me 30 million, but uh, you end up spending half or three quarters of the money in, uh, in the initial stages, maybe demolition, doing this, doing this, so when it comes to finishing, you find that most clients, they spend too much money on the on the on the structure, uh, 
maybe the, the drawings were not done well, so there were so many demolitions. So many things were done, but not done properly, so there were so many uh, works in carrying. Uh -huh. And then you find that the client exhausts the money uh, just to do the structure. So when it comes to the interior part, uh -huh. the client is already broke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. We, we normally get into a project when uh -huh. the client is broke. <laughs> <laughs> because maybe people yeah. didn't think of the final destination. Yeah. They thought of the whole journey, but not yeah. the final yeah. destination. Again, again, is uh, it's very difficult to quantify to quantify how much the interior part will take. You can quantify how much a structure will take because an, an engineer will tell you we need ten tracks of sand, we need ten tracks of uh, blocks, we need uh, two thousand cement, uh, and you find that uh, maybe if you want to buy maybe ballast, one track of ballast, for example, in Nairobi it will cost you like thirty thousand sh Kenya shillings. But now, when you come for the interior, you need to buy one socket. One socket is going for 1500 a good socket. To connect the gypsum? The socket for just the power socket. Oh, oh okay, okay. The 1500. power socket. Yeah, a good one. Oh. A good one, a good one, especially for, let's say, you want to do the metallic one. Yeah, yeah. And then you'll find that uh, one socket, a double socket, will cost you 1500 shillings. Oh. So you only buy how many? Ten. Okay, Maybe so for this villa down. needs like uh, 50 Maybe pieces. More than 100. Or 100 pieces. Yeah. So, that's so if you compare budget. the sockets mm -hmm. and the ballast and the sand, mm -hmm. the quantities don't compare. Yeah. So in the mind of the client, mm -hmm. he does not think of those small, small things which are, which are very costly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like now for the, for the kitchen, mm -hmm. when I came here, yeah. I told him maybe that the kitchen would cost like 1.5 uh, million, 1 .5 million yes, yeah. shilling in the show. minimum. Yeah, I just want to show you, I watch yeah. you yeah. and uh, I've been following you. Yeah, yeah. on the minimum. On the so minimum, when you yeah. tell a client 1.5 million he was not ready for that. Huh? He, he told you he had not No, he said, he said uh, because he's going for the party yeah. and uh, in his mind he didn't think it was that expensive. Not that he cannot afford. Uh -huh. But uh, you know sometimes a client, before, if you've never done anything, uh -huh. you just give it a wild figure. Ah, yeah. this kitchen could cost me like 500,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when the real thing comes, it's maybe 2 million. So yeah. you're like, ah, that's way out of my budget. Yeah, can you so, see the kitchen first? Uh, the space. And, yeah, and what you, yeah. Are, you had planned to do before the lights, uh, the sun goes down. Okay, okay, okay. So this is the kitchen space. Uh -huh. so, so what do what we when I came here, mm -hmm. the kitchen was uh, here. That space was uh, the laundry area. Yeah, okay. was the laundry area. Okay. And then, uh, according to the initial design they had done, mm -hmm. they had only put. Uh, they had these pipes over here. Yeah. Oh, these ones were over there. Yeah, they were over here. Yeah, yeah. And then there was no place for the for the sink mm -hmm. for the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So I think initially mm -hmm. they thought they would do the sink on the island. Oh yeah. Maybe the, the sink island. should be somewhere here. Yeah, the island is supposed to be oh, somewhere, somewhere here. here. Somewhere here so yeah. that we can have space there. Mm -hmm. Like the American kitchens. Yeah it's a, you see that's an open this is an American style. Oh yeah. The you know, kitchen is open to the dining, the dining is open to the yeah. to the living room. Okay, okay. So mm -hmm. uh, these pipes were here mm -hmm. and then uh, in the in the in the mm -hmm. Set up our kitchen. We're supposed to have a cabinet here, mm -hmm. running. Mm -hmm. Then we'll have our cooking pot over here. Mm -hmm. Our so cooking a pot. The cooker will be. Yeah, here. the cooker should be. The cooker here. should be. Here. Okay, okay. So you find it. Uh, the cabinets mm -hmm. will take uh, the first time. Mm -hmm. Then this is a, a path, walking path in between. Yeah, yeah. So you see, these are the pipes. Well. Yeah. So we have to get them from here. Mm -hmm. There, mm -hmm. so that we can get them on the island. Yeah, and by the time you are coming, have they put the tiles here? Yeah, they already done the tiles. So they have to remove all of this. You can see these are the parts. Yeah, they look yeah, a bit. Uh, parts. Yeah. So, then, so these are some of the things I can see on the camera. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, uh, no, these guys are doing this, but this is not how it's supposed to be done. Yeah. So that's why I really wanted to come here mm -hmm. and try to help because uh, Marwa is. is it's like a drug. Yeah, when yeah. you start watching him, you, you want to watch him and watch him and watch him. Yeah. So I'm like, and then you know the funny thing with YouTube is when you get used to watching someone's videos, mm -hmm. you and that person become one. Yeah. You connect yeah. somehow. Yeah. Even if you have never seen him, you yeah. just connect. Yeah. You yeah. feel like I'm part of this yeah, family, I'm part yeah. of this guy, this is my guy, I own him. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've been seeing the comments mm -hmm. on the 
if you if you go through the comments on the videos, people who follow Marwa, they, they really own him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, really yeah. own him. Yeah. Uh, Marwa is theirs, uh -huh. and they are really there for him. Yeah. They wouldn't like anything to go bad yeah. uh, when they are there when they are watching. So they will always comment. Yeah, and say, yeah. Why do do this? They had that? ideas. So yeah. many of them. Yeah. So the same thing I felt. Uh -huh. No, I'm part of this family. Uh -huh. Uh, Maro is a good guy, he's my friend, he mm -hmm. tells me, mm -hmm. why don't I just go there and give my expertise? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because this is what I do. So that's why I really worked very hard mm -hmm. to secure an appointment. Yeah. When I got it, I was very excited mm -hmm. and I came. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually when I came, we were able to change so many things yeah. that were not working, yeah. that could not have worked mm -hmm. even even if somebody else came, yeah. they couldn't have worked, so we had to change. Yeah, yeah. So in that case, we this is the first place I started. Okay. These are the first place where I started mm -hmm. to, to do the changes. Mm -hmm. So we had to remove the lobby from there mm -hmm. and put a kitchen sink over there because we didn't have a sink. Oh, oh so the kitchen sink you know, should the be... kitchen sink would be here. We uh, have a cabinet over here. Okay. No level cabinet mm -hmm. running all the way up to here. Mm -hmm. So we have our dishwasher here, machine. Mm -hmm. This washer machine will be here. Uh -huh. Then we will have a high level cabinet over there. Oh, so we have to also remove these tiles no, again? No, we just hang the cabinets. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Use uh, mm -hmm. glue? Mm -hmm. Use glue? No, no, we, we drill you the wall and screw the cabinets. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. At least I'm taking some notes. When, when I'm uh, building, I'll also consider such. Yeah, you just, uh, once it's done, you just drill the wall, uh -huh. and, uh, anchor your cabinets on the wall, uh -huh. and uh, then be set. Okay. So, uh, this place initially was the laundry area, uh -huh. so we had to remove this laundry machine here uh -huh. and extend the kitchen because I realized uh -huh. this house is too big. Yeah. This is the main kitchen. Yeah, yeah. They only have one sink provision on the island, uh -huh. and uh, we are not supposed to wash utensils on the island. Oh, okay, okay. We're supposed to just prepare vegetables. Uh -huh, uh -huh. As you cook, you have a small sink on the island. Uh -huh. yeah do vegetables and stuff when you're cooking uh -huh. and uh, maybe just to wash maybe your cooking spoons and stuff like that yeah so we just need a small sink over there uh -huh. but the main washing area will be this one, this one. Yeah. wash yeah. utensils yeah. here and we have a dishwasher here oh, okay so we remove the washing machines from here uh -huh. and we had to put them outside yeah but oh, the washing machines have already been fitted. No, no, no. The provisions. The provisions. Yeah, the okay. Provisions. okay. You, you know, if you say what this is, this is the place laundry. Is big. You know, so, I, 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 let me say this. Okay. I've, I've, I've been seated on the other end. Mm -hmm. I've not had a chance to do a house tour. Okay. But now coming in, mm -hmm. you know, on the camera, this house looks uh, averagely medium. Medium. But, but when you come when, here, you oh my goodness, it's massive. I wish I could do a house tour then. <laughs> it's so yeah. massive. Yeah, yeah it's massive. We'll do this and then uh, mm -hmm. we can do the general spaces yeah. tour. It's, yeah, especially uh, the yeah, gypsum, yeah, that one. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Only the bedrooms you won't be able to access because you have. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Sorry, Sorry. I've interrupted you because I'm it's okay, excited. It's okay. No, yeah. it's, it's part of the content. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. part of the content. Yeah, sure, sure. So we had to come here. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, Marwa had said this is just a place for the kitchen mm -hmm. whereby if they want to prepare some food stuff, mm -hmm. people would sit here and prepare. Mm -hmm. But we thought because the kitchen is not enough, mm -hmm. uh, we had to uh, extend it over there mm -hmm. and bring the, the laundry here. Okay, so okay. This is the laundry area. Okay. We have two machines. We mm -hmm. would have a washing machine here mm -hmm. and a dryer somewhere. Okay. There we have points for the water, the, the waste pipe. Oh, this is the waste pipe? Yeah, the waste pipe. This one? Yeah, that's uh -huh. the waste pipe. This is the inlet in the oh, water. In the, okay, okay. So we have two, we could have two washing machines mm -hmm. or we could have one washing machine mm -hmm. and a dryer. Okay, okay. Yeah, and a dryer. Okay. It depends on what machine you are getting because there are those machines that have, can wash and dry at the same time. Okay, okay. But uh, most people prefer wash mm -hmm. and dry separately. Okay, okay. So we decided to put them here. Mm -hmm. And then we are thinking if we think uh, the machines are too much exposed on the outside, mm -hmm. we could also do some glass and aluminium yeah, yeah, and yeah. Some yeah. sliding window okay, okay. just to enclose the space yeah, yeah. to make sure that the laundry is not so exposed to the exterior. Yeah. So those are some of the things we are working on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, are so you also the ones in charge of that? The fish pond? Yeah. No, no the fish pond is, is a guy called uh, Gintu, the oh, fisher, the okay. fisherman. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. that would be a fish pond? Yeah, this is a fish pond. Uh -huh. You have not done a video there? They even fish inside there. Yeah. You know, my main worry, yeah. because uh, let me tell you my story so that yeah. you can relate with it. Yeah. So when I was in China, mm -hmm. 
actually I saw people coming to uh, Marwa mm. and uh, at, uh, there were too many so he said uh, people should book an appointment yeah. and also he insisted uh, on buying the master class and he okay. said an advantage of buying the master class you can have access to him for two yeah, three one hours on one. yeah one mm. on one yeah. so I thought it was now that I'm able to buy the master class mm. let me first of all uh, pay for the master class mm -hmm. and then uh, 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 when I come, I book an appointment because I think that will give me an additional value. Yeah. Because at the gate over there, um, one of the selling points, because I came, I had sent uh, Paris the message, mm -hmm. but she, she left me hanging. Mm -hmm. First of all, I had issues with paying. In China, their finances are a bit solid. You can't uh, send money outside. They have to look where like this money goes. So mm -hmm. it's protocol. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't pay. The, for the master class while in China. Oh. So I, I had to come, mm. then deposit some money on my bank and then pay with my Kenya card. Oh. And then it went through. And then I tried to reach a uh, mother on the booking. Mm. That time the part was great, so no response. Yeah. But um, Edith has told me you can actually uh, plan on that. Once you buy the master class, it will be mm. So today coming, just saying I have a master class, I have bought it and showed them the message. Mm. Open doors automatically. Yeah. So they say, hold a minute. They went and then after like 30 minutes, mm. the soldier came and said, it's okay, come. Mm. And then I went, uh, just like that. Mm. Uh, at least now it makes you close to, yeah, yeah, yeah because I, I'm interested in uh, his journey, I want to follow, I want to yeah, learn. Yeah. And uh, now that I'm here, uh, oh my, this, I, don't, I, I lack words. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So how are you feeling? How are you feeling that now you have uh, met Maro himself? I feel so great. I feel inspired. <laughs> Just the environment mm, itself. Yeah, being in the state of yeah, yeah it's, this is <laughs> massive, more. massive. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And today I'm a bit excited. Maybe I might go off topic, but we we'll try <laughs> focus. Uh, okay. Yeah. Anyways, now you get where I come from. No problem. Yeah, so yeah. I understand. Uh -huh. uh, Maro says it's good for content. Yeah. When you're doing a certain content. Uh -huh. It's okay to deviate and get out of the, out of the way, yeah. and uh, it, it it gives you time to also uh, think about the content. So yeah. uh, we are just uh, as I've said, mm -hmm. so we intended to change this place to be a lounge area. Okay, and then uh, we extended the kitchen. Uh, will you do some gypsum here or no need here? Uh, no, here we don't need to do a gypsum here. Oh, this is the uh, oh, space. Yeah, so okay. Okay. Yeah, we only use gypsum mm -hmm. in areas that are the, the interior inside okay. uh, because gypsum mainly is for beautification. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a laundry area. We yeah, just it's not a common area. area. Yeah, it's a common yeah, area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's, uh, I think that's uh, enough for the kitchen area. Okay. So here we have, uh, this is our dining area. Okay. This hey, it's massive. 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 Massive, yeah. Uh, we need to put this way. Yeah. Put, uh, very massive dining table here mm -hmm. from this place here. Mm -hmm. here, here. Oh, it's like the one in the state house. Yeah. yeah. That's it. They are loading the yeah. uh, stuff there. Uh, yeah, this, is a, this is a dining table. Uh -huh. Uh, Amara calls it Putin's table. Putin's. <laughs> Putin's table, yeah. This one it should yeah, be a big table, table from here. It's too. very big. It will uh -huh. carry around, I think, around 20, 20 people. 20 people? Mm, like because 20, uh, 18 to 20 people. Yeah, I, um, uh, that is very positive because Amaro is a big family. Yeah. So you need to have a big table so that you can. Uh, yeah, imagine if you have this table here. Yeah. If you have all the VIPs here. Yeah. yeah. Feeding at mm -hmm. the same time when the party was going on. Yeah. yeah. So I'm hoping that uh, he will do this also next year. Because yeah. People are saying, Mara, please make it uh, an yearly event. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It, here it needs year. to be an yearly event. So I'm sure next year mm -hmm. it will be an yearly event. Next year when you come here, yeah. uh, the VIP will be dining on this table. The kitchen will be done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so from here. And before you move, yeah. uh, will you do some gypsum here? Because uh, I think this place is a bit uh, yeah, we are, idle. We are, yeah, we are going to do... Uh, 